Here are the 25 best mods for Project Zomboid in April 2022. Noir Rifle Slings. This mod adds a sling to the game. With this, you can equip 200 guns and melee weapons. This sling can be worn in three different positions, and it keeps its place when wearing a backpack. You can find it on the wall or craft it yourself. Look it up under the tailoring tab. You can even exercise with the sling equipped. We build the Barricade. This mod adds the ability to build improvised barricades from the d tile pack. There are eight positions positions of low barricades and four high ones included. Each position has four textures. Low barricades have 1000 HP plus 100 per building skill level. High barricades have 2000 HP plus 100 per building skill level. These are built using planks and nails and require a minimum level of 1 in carpentry. Fire explodes fuel bombs. This mod makes fuel bombs explode if they catch on fire. It even can cause a chain reaction. It's a really cool mod. Last of Us, Project Fungi. This mod makes the zombies spawn with a new hat type and textures that makes them look like they are growing the fungus from the Last of Us video game series. I highly suggest to use it with the next mod in this list. The Last of Us Sounds of Infected. This mod changes all the sounds from the zombies with the ones from the infected in The Last of Us. Try combining this with the previous mod in this list and play with runners. If you're interested in the outfit I'm wearing, it's included in the mod Undead Survivor, which I feature in my top 25 mods of January. It adds three different outfits to the game, Stalker, Nomad and Prepper. The Scent of Blood. This mod makes getting injured a real problem. If you leave your wounds bleeding and without a bandage, it will attract zombies to your location. The smaller the wound, the less likely you are to attract attention. Scratches only attract zombies that are very close by, as opposed to deep bleeding wounds. Also, each injury stacks. If your bandage gets dirty, it will attract zombies. Be sure to change it if you can. Nonetheless, having a dirty bandage is better than an unbandaged wound. These are the default settings, but you can modify everything to your liking. Overfill Lane Bunker. This mod adds a bunker east of the abandoned airfield. It includes a living room, storage, TV and radio inside. There is an option to spawn inside the bunker too. Susceptible trait by Spyjack. This mod has a negative trait that you can choose to make your character susceptible to the airborne strain of the zombie virus. This means if you get too close to any zombie while not wearing a mask, you will be at high risk of contracting the virus. The more zombies that are present, the much larger the risk. Corpses do not affect the chance of infection though. You can prevent getting the infection by wearing masks or certain headgear. Masks that are worn will also degrade over time. Certain headgear will have varying degradation rates over time until they reach zero condition. Clothing Actions Radial Menu this mod displays a radial menu for all the extra clothing actions that can be performed on currently worn items. For example, putting up your hood. Craft Helper continued. This mod is an updated version of Craft Helper, with additional features and an improved UI. It has a context menu when right-clicking on any item in your inventory or a container. Selecting that will bring up a dialog of every recipe that that item is part of. Selecting a recipe will show its components and what is already obtained by the player. Player. Moldraw Fire Department. This mod adds a fire department to Moldraw, similar to the one in Rosewood. It's located in the southern part of the town, following the main road. Disco Elysium Clothing Pack. This mod adds two jackets and one cloak from the game Disco Elysium. They can be found in police stations. It includes RCM Blazer, RCM Cloak, and RCM Jacket. Out at Sar Tuning Atelier. Moldzagen Looting Van. This mod adds a new vehicle to the game. This van features body protection, window protection, a roof rack, and a modular system to convert the back body into a mobile home. You can literally install a mattress, a bedside table, microwave, stove, refrigerator, and more. Scientific Chemistry. This mod adds new items known as cams from the Fallout series. It includes the following Jet, Bathout, Medex, Mentats, Steam Packs, Super Steam Pack, 
Psycho, Excel and Daydreeper. You can read an in-depth overview of each of them in the workshop page. Some of them are craftable and almost all camps are possible to find while exploring. More simple traits. This mod adds traits that aim to be balanced, simple and clear to use. It adds a plus one trait for each of the skills. Some of the new ones are Marathon Runner, Adaptive, Sharpshooter, Mushroom Picker, Sore Legs and Weather Sensitive. There are two versions, Main and Vanilla. The Main version is balanced for playing with the Dynamic Traits mod. The Vanilla version is balanced for playing with default traits. Armored MH. This mod adds a new armored vehicle to the game. The unique thing about this one is that it includes an interior which you can actually enter. Just switch to C3 to enter the rear compartment. Each car has its own space. If you lose your car, your room will be gone. Custom starting conditions. This mod lets you customize your starting conditions for anyone who would like a challenge. You can start naked, with a building alarm active, and even with a building on fire. You can set a value of drunkenness, thirst, hunger, fatigue, panic, and happiness, stress, sickness, and cold strength. Also, how many scratches, glass jars, burns, and fractures are on your body. Vanilla Vehicle Enhancer This mod revamps the look of some of the vanilla vehicles in the game. It replaces the textures for the full-size sedan, wagon, taxi, police car, and the pickup truck. There are over 200 skins based on real-world vehicles. It includes new wheels as well as textures for the wrecked and burnt versions. There are three different types of police cars. A standard police car, a sheriff's car, and a state trooper car. Ammo Maker this mod adds raw materials and recipes to produce your own ammunition from scratch. You can make charcoal from blocks or tree branches, recycle metal or plastic, extract sulfur, and make gunpowder. Be sure to check the crafting tab for all the recipes. F. What? F H Q W H G A D S Vehicle Pack <laughs> This mod adds a wide variety of new vehicles to Project Zomboid. You can choose which cars you would like to spawn naturally from three selections of car lists. US Motors, containing cars that were available and sold in the US. Imports, containing cars that were common in other countries. And rares and exotics, containing cars that are either very expensive or produced in very low numbers. All cars support the mod Paint Your Ride. Also, this vehicle pack pairs very very well with the next mod in this list. Vehicle Spawn Zones Expanded This mod adds new vehicle spawn zones and spawn lists around Kentucky. These new spawn zones range from adding some vehicle spawns to areas that didn't have any, to adding new theme spawn areas that provide a more specific set of vehicles. There are over 700 new spawn zones in total. Areas that didn't have vehicle spawns now will have them. This includes areas such as rural houses, factories, warehouses, stores and small neighborhoods. There's an in-depth overview of all of the spawn lists in the mods work shop page. KV's Vehicle Bonanza. This mod adds new vanilla style vehicles to the game. Some of them are very rare. An old Italian car, a rare car from the 60s, an ancient sedan from the 30s, and a custom Coronet Emperor hard rod. McCoy's Bunker. This mod adds a bunker located south of Louisville. There's an option to spawn inside the bunker for new games. It includes some bedrooms, kitchen, living room, a pool, and a variety of storage. Project Cruise Ship. This mod adds a new map to the game, an actual cruise ship. It's not integrated with the vanilla map for now, but it's really interesting for a challenge run. Give it a try. Left click Redux. This mod adds the ability for players to navigate and perform actions by clicking the left mouse button. Currently, you can open and close doors, curtains, windows, turn on or off light switches, and open containers. To move, you can click where you want to go, or even click and hold the left mouse button to walk towards the mouse. If you'd like to be able to drive a garbage truck or even mow the lawn, check this video for the top 25 best mods of March. Thank you for watching.